problem that many people have is how to play the Forza Horizon game with the Arduino wheel. This method may be a bit confusing for you. But don't worry I will explain step by step. Let me first explain how this works. This works by connecting the Arduino wheel and game controller to VJoy and connecting it to the game through Forza Emu wheel. So, remember this Forza Emu wheel software supports the Microsoft version games only. A game controller is required for this, the keys and axis related to these are mandatory for the game to work. But if you don't use a clutch paddle and H shifter, you don't need a game controller. We only support four axis in wheel config. So it is not possible to use both handbrake and clutch pedal at the same time. So what we do is connect the handbrake to the game controller and use it. For this, we also need three buttons on the game controller. First, before making the handbrake, we have set up the required keys and axis from the controller. Because when we make the handbrake, we have to completely disassemble the controller. Since the key mapping cannot be done after disassembling the controller, so the required key mapping must be set first. Download VJoy and Forza Emu Wheel software. Link in description. First, install the VJoy. Now go to the configure VJoy. Now put these settings here. Then click apply and close it. You can download the Emu Wheel software from this website. And you can also learn how to set up this in the setup guide. Now connect USB controller and wheel to PC. Make sure your wheel is in the ready position. Now extract the Forza Emu Wheel zip file. Then go to the configurator. Turn on the controller analog mode. Now click the handbrake set button and put the Z rotation axis. Maybe the axis of your controller is different. You can verify it through Windows controller properties. Now map the buttons. Three buttons are enough for this, but I select four buttons. Now map the wheel, pedals and H shifter. Don't forget to save. Open Hush and click Mute. Then run the Forza Emu Wheel. If there is no problem here it will show Forza Emu Wheel is ready to start. Now click Start and minimize it. Now launch the game. Go to the Options, Controls, Change Input Mappings. Go to the Wheel tab. Now map the All Parts.
If you want, you can play the game at this moment. Okay, now we can make the handbrake from the controller. You may remember that I made a handbrake before, and the same handbrake is used for this. If there is anyone who has not seen it, you can watch it from the link in the description. I have made some minor changes in this. First, I have connected an RJ45 female connector to this. And you may remember we connected a switch for this. So, I removed it because we don't need it anymore. It's connecting like this. I made my game controller as a box like this. With this I can use all buttons and 4 axis. I will upload a video on how to make this in the future. So I can easily connect the handbrake for this. Now connect controller into the PC and turn on analog mode. Now go to the Windows Game Controller properties. You can see my X and Y axis are shaking. This happens because nothing is connected to this axis. So I reconnected the L and X axis of this joystick like this. Now you can see that the problem is solved. Let's calibrate the handbrake. You have to do this again every time before playing the game. Go to the advanced controls. Turn on mouse free look. Reduce steering axis dead zone inside to zero. After you play the game, set these things as you want. Now go to the game. Go back to settings. Here are the force feedback settings. After playing and set these things as you want. Reduce steering sensitivity to zero. Now go to the difficulty tab. Put these settings here. Now save it. So that's it. The only problem here is that you have to buy the game from Microsoft. If you want, you can play with Xbox Pass. I also played that way at first. So, thank you for watching my video and see you in the next video.